I'm sure you noticed that your storage devices that you bought have a little bit less space than it advertised. Like for example, they say 32 gigabytes when it's actually 29.8. So why is that the case? How can companies simply get away with a seemingly blatant false marketing like that? It's just false advertisement. Well, it's clever and a little bit annoying. I'll try to explain this in this video and I'm gonna try to make it simple. There are two main reasons this happens that I want to talk about. Now reason number one is related to marketing and how we as humans use a completely different system for numbers to that of computers. We're not used to the binary base 2, we're actually used to decimal systems. Number for us go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and you know. And the marketers will capitalize on that of course. Here's how it works. You see, in plain English, kilo or K it means 1000, while G means 1 billion. That's one with nine zeros in front of it. So the 1000 is defined with K. Hence, if we're talking about data in bytes, then 32 kilobytes should equal 32,000 bytes. That's in plain English. But computers defined a K as 1024. That's a little bit bigger than a kilobyte that we are used to. And this actually gives birth to the unit kibibytes. A kibibyte is 1024 bytes. These are the units that are actually used to display how much capacity you have. There is a conversion that happens from the decimal numbers, but you are not made aware of it. Now the units I want to introduce you to here are slightly larger than decimal prefixes. Let's look at a simple example. Consider gibibytes, for instance. One gibibyte is 1.74 gigabytes the one we're used to, so it's just a little bit larger. Now, if you take one terabyte drive and you plug it into a computer, there is a conversion that happens. That one terabyte needs to be divided by 1.074 gigabytes and you can see that equals 931 gigabytes and that's actually what you use. Marketers use that different system since most people don't know it deliberately so they can get away with advertising 32 gigabytes in decimal which in reality converted to 29.8 for example. And the way they get away with it is they place this very simple tiny disclaimer that's conveniently placed in the back of the box and it says that the numbers written are in decimals. So this basically makes it a legal scam, if you will. Of course, you are going to market your product in such a way that people buy it and pay the money. And when they realize that they have been actually duped, <laughs> it becomes too late. So let me give you an example. If you want to sell a product that costs $10, I'm not going to tell you it is $1, <laughs> no, 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 in fact, I will tell you that it is $9.99, and I put this one very small, and I put this one big like this, so you will buy it, and after you buy it, it becomes too late. <laughs> Now reason number two is actually a minor reason and it's because these drives already come with a small software. Some of the space is reserved for the fat. Well, not that kind of fat. What I meant is file allocation table. This is a table software that helps the system keep track of the structure of the disk and where the files go on it. Kind of like on a map, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. So let's recap. Basically, they write on the box using our normal everyday system, while in their heads they are thinking of a completely different system the whole time. And they get away with it by putting a disclaimer that says what's in the box is actually in decimal. And since most people don't read the back of the box, I guess that makes that legal. And the reason they do that is because... Dollar, dollar bill, yo. So this is it everybody, I hope this is simple, check out the description for more information. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss the other videos to follow about all of the topics I'm going to speak about, and I will see you next time.